When given an option, barbells and an adjustable rack are the most efficient tools for getting strong because they allow for the most weight to be loaded. If you're serious about your training, you will need to be able to work with heavy weights as part of your programming. While dumbbells can be used for most purposes, as you get stronger, the limiting factor becomes being able to actually position the dumbbells in preparation for the exercise. For example, getting heavy dumbbells to your shoulder in preparation for an overhead press or bench press takes a little practice. While technically you should be strong enough to position a weight you are strong enough to use on these upper body exercises, the same principle may not apply to lower body exercises. For example, the amount of weight you can use on goblet or front rack squats will likely be limited by how much your arms can support. Also, while Romanian deadlifts can be done effectively using dumbbells, many individuals are stronger on deadlifts than the heaviest dumbbells available at the gym. Not to mention that a barbell has the additional benefit of preventing forward knee travel, while dumbbells do not. If all you're working with are dumbbells, two leg versions of squats and deadlifts may be limited by the amount you can hold in your hands. So single leg versions of these exercises may prove useful. For example, rear foot elevated split squats are a good alternative to squats, and kickstand deadlifts may be useful to sufficiently load a deadlifting movement. You may be in a situation where you do not have access to heavy enough dumbbells to provide a challenge, even using more challenging versions of the parent movement, such as split squats. In these cases, you'll have little choice but to attempt to take each set close to failure, even if that takes 30 reps. It won't be as productive as being able to use more resistance and get to failure closer to 8 to 10 reps, but you'll still get something out of it. So, in summary, dumbbells work just fine for upper body exercises as long as you have something heavy enough to do the job, though loading them can be tricky. Lower body exercises can be more difficult to load, as many people will be able to use weights heavier than their arms can support. For lower body exercises, using single leg variations can allow for sufficient loading. Bench pressing, overhead pressing, kickstand deadlifts, and split squats already cover a lot of ground, but we haven't yet included a pulling exercise. For that, one arm dumbbell rows can be a great option, plus pull-ups and chin-ups if you're able to do them. While sets of four to six reps are great for building strength, and I'll often rely on sets of five to develop basic strength using barbells, the process of loading dumbbells in preparation for an exercise is in itself fatiguing. Because of the challenge and potential injury risk of loading a very heavy dumbbell in position for an exercise, it is more practical to stick to sets of eight to 10 when using dumbbells. This will take away from strength adaptations to an extent, but you can still get a lot of muscle growth in this range. These exercises will give you a great starting point. Done consistently with attention to form and deliberately increasing the load as you get stronger will produce great results by themselves without ever adding any other exercises. Focus on getting better at a handful of fundamental movements that work your whole body. Don't keep changing exercises. Get good at just a few that work well. Progress them by increasing the weight as you get strong and do it consistently.